This video will cover how to install FFmpeg on Windows 7 and Windows 10. I'll have a timestamp in the description for you to skip to the relevant section if you want. I made this other video about a year and a half ago and have had a lot of questions about how to install FFmpeg since then. So I figured I'd just make a video about the process and update my current version at the same time. Except when I started making the video, I discovered the website I originally used to download FFmpeg from went offline about a month ago. Well, I've got a new link up with more up-to-date instructions, but it's a little confusing, so I'll just walk you guys through it. First of all, we need to download FFmpeg. You can go to the official website from here, but it's just ffmpeg.org anyway if you just want to type it into the address bar. Don't click this big green download button here unless you're using some version of Linux. The Windows downloads are right down here. I'll cover GAN.dev's download link first because it's less confusing than BTBN's download page. He's got a brief description at the top you should probably read, but forget that, let's just scroll right down to the release builds. I'm using the Release Essentials version. These two links are exactly the same build, just one uses WinZip and the other uses 7-Zip. If you don't have the 7-Zip Archive Manager installed on your computer and you don't want to install it, then download the .zip version. Windows 7 and 10 should both be able to open this archive without any extra software. The full and shared versions have extra libraries if you're looking for the maximum amount of stuff to add, but none of this stuff is really necessary for what we're doing. Again, I'm just using the Release Essentials version. If there's ever a problem with these links, there is a mirror right down here that you can use, which should have duplicates of the same release. Okay, if your download link worked, you can skip to the next part, but if GAN.dev is down for some reason or the links are broken somehow, let me show you what to look for on the BTBN link. This link takes you to a GitHub archive of the most recent build. Now the newest builds can sometimes be buggy, but links to the official release builds are right underneath the newest ones. You can tell the difference because official builds have an actual version number, in this case 4.3.1, instead of a build number. There are four different links here. The difference between them are very simple. The links with shared in the title have a bunch of their internal files separated into DLLs sitting in different folders. They'll still work, but really they're intended to be used by developers, i.e. programmers. The ones with GPL in the title are the fully licensed builds with the majority of the shared files included in the executable while the LGPL ones have a smaller set and work on fewer file types. The LGPL versions are also intended for developers, so most of us can just ignore them. I recommend the non-shared GPL version, it should have everything you need and then some. Whichever version you choose, the next step is the same. Once you've downloaded the archive, open it and extract the contents to your favorite workspace. I'm just gonna extract mine to the C drive for ease of use. Once it's extracted, double-click to open up the folder, and then double-click the bin folder. Now this is very important. Make sure you have the bin folder open before you perform the next step. If you don't include the bin folder where ffmpeg.exe is actually located in the path address, ffmpeg won't work. Right-click the address bar and select Copy Address. For Windows 7, the next step is to open your Start menu, right-click the computer shortcut, and select Properties. You can also open the control panel and select System to get here. Or if you still have categories enabled, select System and Security, then System. Here, click Advanced System Settings. On the bottom of the menu that pops up, click Environment Variables. In the System Variables box, scroll down until you find the Path variable. Highlight it and click Edit. Place your cursor at the end of the variable value, add a semicolon, then right-click and select Paste. Click OK, click OK on the next few menus, then close everything out and open a command prompt by opening the Start menu and typing CMD and pressing Enter. In the command window, type FFmpeg and press Enter. If everything's working right, you'll see a whole bunch of FFmpeg-related information scroll down the screen. If that didn't work, you'll get an error saying FFmpeg is not recognized. Go back and double-check each step or refer to the instruction page I'll have linked in the description. For Windows 10 users, once you have the address copied, open the Start menu and type Edit the System Environment Variables, and open the control panel that pops up, should pop up after the first word. On the Advanced tab, click Environment Variables. Scroll down and find the Path variable, then click Edit. Click New, and in the highlighted box, right-click and select Paste to drop the new path into the variable. Click OK, and then close everything out and open the Start menu again. 
Type CMD and press enter to open the command prompt. Type FFmpeg and press enter to test it out. If everything works, you'll see a bunch of FFmpeg related information scroll down the screen. If that didn't work and you have an error saying FFmpeg is not recognized, go back and double check each step or refer to the instruction page I have linked in the description. That's everything guys, you should be ready to roll. Hopefully this helps you guys out and I appreciate any likes or subscriptions you guys drop on me. Please share this around so that other people can make use of this really advanced, super awesome, free open source tool.